Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. We're back in the garden. It's been a while. Actually, at this time, I still have a video I gotta edit and publish for some planting, but I don't think it's gonna get up because it was a pretty boring video, honestly. But today, we are not planting. We are not hoeing. What other stuff do we do around here that I'd, nobody likes? Uh, not harvesting either. All our spinach died just... Pfft. It's got too hot. It's been almost 90 degrees for the past week. Uh, having a hard time keeping stuff alive. Our radishes really came up sporadic. It's pretty bad. We probably got five out of all the ones we planted. So once it cools back down, we'll have to do some replants. Asparagus is still coming up like crazy. And some of what we planted came up. No spinach, but uh, we got cantaloupe. Yeah, that's it. We got cantaloupe and watermelon and pumpkins mainly. But anyway, today we are going to be mulching the asparagus with grass clippings. This is a second mow, so the grass was like 12 inches tall out there. And we cut it and let it lay there. And then like a week later we cut it again. And this was what was left from the last mow. Most of it's all brown. Very little green stuff in there. So hopefully it will stay for a long time. Anyway, we're just going to mulch the inside strip down the row of the asparagus because we got stuff growing on the outsides, obviously. But uh, yeah, we're just going to mow the or mulch the inside strip. <laughs> So there's the first bed done. That was the easy one since we don't have much coming up around it over here. It's going to be a different story. Spinach, I'm not worried about. This stuff's dead. Probably should hoe it up anyway. But that's creating a natural mulch right there. Our kale we got, we have to go around. Probably should harvest some of that. Got the carrots, but we're just going down the center anyway. So should be alright. We might do some mulching around the cantaloupe but other than that it's just gonna be the asparagus so let's get started on this one and just a quick update on the camera situation I'm still recording with my phone right now but tomorrow I am ordering my new camera the DJI Osmo action I'm gonna be doing a review of it on a different channel I will link that on one of the newer videos when I get the camera and uh, once I get the camera, I plan on doing more of a daily vlog thing again, and it's going to be farming and personal stuff too, so it's not just going to be the garden. Right now, I've just been doing the garden because that's all I have space for on my phone, uh, but the new camera, I'm getting a 128 gigabyte SD card with it. That'll hold about four hours of video, so I'll have plenty of room to do recording throughout the day. Anyway, let's get back to mulching this bed. Alright, just side note, you know it's hot out when you're just walking from the raised bed to the pile of grass and you're breaking a sweat. Back to the video. Alright, so here we are. I decided to mulch the cantaloupe too. Um, just I figured they needed the weed protection. And uh, once that breaks down, that'll give a lot of nutrients to the soil. Not that it needs it. That's pure compost that it's growing in. Over here, this is where I feel like it needs the nutrients. This soil's mainly just sand. The bottom half of this bed is compost, but these pumpkins obviously aren't reaching down there yet, and neither are the watermelons over there. Um, the corn, I came out here one day and it shot up like a foot. I'm thinking that's what happened was it reached that uh, point where it reached into the compost and got that supply of nutrients in the water. Look at how thick that corn is. I can't even wrap my two fingers around that stalk of corn. This corn is crazy. But it's tall. It's almost as tall as me. Right here, that's almost as tall as me. So it's doing really good. Next, we're going to mulch the pumpkins here. 
get that velvet leaf out. That's a terrible weed to have in your garden. Uh, we might do some mulching on this end of this bed because it we're having some serious grass pressure. And the cucumbers did not make it. The corn ended up canopying faster than I thought it would. So it ended up killing the cucumbers. So I'm thinking if we got the cucumbers in when we planted the corn instead of waiting, it might have went better. So just little things to remember for next year, like uh, maybe interplant the beans with the corn. Ooh, the beans are flowering. They weren't doing that yesterday. Sweet, that means we're gonna have beans soon. Let me sit on them, hot. All right, so a few things that I'm learning from this year is uh, one plant earlier. Uh, I should have been planting in April, honestly. But uh, obviously I was trying to. I was trying to start cabbage and cauliflower and broccoli and everything in cups inside but I just couldn't get anything to germinate. I had the wrong soil type and I didn't think I did. So I ended up getting all that stuff started late. And then, um, and then I planted while I was doing my chickens and they all died. So then I was like, uh, I gotta do something. So I came up with these raised beds. And so I started building these raised beds. And by then I was sorta of out of money so since these beds are $43 a piece to build, I didn't really have the money to do more. I should have had probably two or three more just to plant watermelons and pumpkins and stuff in. But I couldn't afford it, so I'm stuck with what I got. I got four of them. Next year, hopefully, we'll have twice as many, I'm hoping. And uh, we'll be able to start perennials next year instead of just annuals. We got the asparagus this year. Down both sides of the asparagus, we need to plant strawberries. That They're a perfect matchup together. Uh, in permaculture, you plant your strawberries with your asparagus. And hopefully we'll have a bed of raspberries next year. And uh, I'm really wanting to turn this into a big garden. This is gonna be hopefully better. I still gotta get landscape fabric, get all this stuff mulched in between the beds, but it's, a work in progress. Hopefully we'll go through today and till it all up so that it won't get too crazy. I gotta do it before the little tiller can't fight through it because the little tiller doesn't like vegetation very much. Anyway, after all that talking, I've talked for what? A minute and 58 seconds. That was a lot shorter than I thought. Anyway, uh, we gotta mulch the cut pumpkins and I'm gonna wait off on watering stuff. I've been, I started watering yesterday is ground the sand doesn't hold moisture very well I can dig down probably four or five inches before I hit moisture probably down in that compost layer and the shallower stuff definitely needs water but I think the corn and beans are fine that corn over there that I planted it was probably an inch and a half tall and last night I soaked everything down hard and it's three inches today it's crazy how fast stuff will grow when it's got the proper nutrients and moisture and everything but uh this sweet corn is definitely behind i planted the field corn earlier than this mostly because i don't want it flowering at the same time if it does it'll cross pollinate and the sweet corn will be ruined and that's not good i don't want the sweet corn ruined sweet corn will be the main money maker this year so i need it so anyway that's uh Let's mulch these pumpkins while I have time. Alright, that's all the grass clippings I got left. So, uh, I'll sweep more up at a later date and we'll finish mulching this. But for now, that's pretty good. Uh, the grass is still fairly short over here, so we don't need to worry about that yet. Another thing I'm hoping this mulch will do is retain moisture. I'm not sure if I said that or not but this needs moisture retention over here. So uh, that should hopefully help. And uh, I think that's it for today. The tomatoes are rocking, they're flowering, so hopefully they'll be harvesting soon. And the cabbages over here, I'm just showing you guys this because it's been about a week since I've recorded anything. The cabbages are starting to harden in the center. Probably about the size of a golf ball down in there. Where'd this rock come from? That rock was not there before yesterday. 
I got some weeding I gotta do in here once I harvest this stuff. Some serious weeding I gotta do. But until then, I don't really know if I want to keep this bed. The cinder blocks don't look as good as the wood. But anyway, that's another day. This day is way too hot and way too short to work on raised beds. So, packing up my tripod. Thanks for watching, guys. Please like, comment, and subscribe. And let me know in the comments below suggestions and what you think of my videos. Uh, until next time.